I'm so excited to share this story with you, though, because this is just an example of what good people can do here in Southwest Florida. Even something as small as doing a load of laundry can really make someone's day. It's been about 20 days since Rob White started a completely new line of work. Of course, she gave me the walk. Every day he's in his truck in a new neighborhood, armed with tons of soap, water, and greeted with piles of soiled clothes. In this neighborhood is trashed. I don't think there's a single house in this neighborhood that didn't have, you know, four feet of water in it. It's better now. White's a known name along the Gulf Shore. He opened Fort Myers Brewing Company back in 2013 and was supposed to turn this into his first food truck. But that plan took a back seat to disaster. I saw an elderly woman in um, the Island Park area who had lost everything. Um, and uh, cars were gone, the house was trashed, and she, she, the last thing she said was she was crying. She said, I can't even go wash my clothes. And it was a light bulb went off and I was like, well, I have a trailer, I have equipment, um, I have pumps and tanks and propane and heaters. So instead, he turned that empty trailer into a full service mobile laundromat. Using his pickup truck to tow more than 300 gallons of water, three washing machines and two dryers to those still without many options. I just drove down the road, put out some signs, passed out some flyers and said, you know, Hey, I'm doing laundry for free, and I started meet. You know, people started bringing their laundry and meeting them and hearing their stories. We would run out there. That's when he met Juan and Maria Castro. I said, hey, "Man, you know that house way down there? <laughs> we got a seven. We got seven of us. We need our clothes washed. <laughs> it's been like a week since I've been wearing the same clothes. The same clothes that, like everything else they owned, were soaked in floodwaters. Oh my God! We had a this family of seven was inside their Fort Myers home when storm surge took hold of their neighborhood. Just, yeah, follow, me, follow behind them, follow go, go, behind go, go, them, go, go, go. follow behind them. They're stuck, they're stuck. Once you see that water coming in and an almost cat five hurricane, you know, instinct kick in. I just got to say my family, we all hopped on that truck. We're surrounded by water, wind, and we was just trying to hightail it out of here. Today, they're sleeping in an RV. Their driveway filled with appliances, furniture, and cars all destroyed. There's not a single house in this neighborhood that has a washer or dryer that's still working. They were all flooded. When I first started out, I felt like what I was doing was just such a, it seemed insignificant. Like I, I've only had three washers and two dryers, um, and it seemed like I'm not doing that much laundry. But the response from families like the Castros. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Proves otherwise. He couldn't stop crying. He was just uh, floored that <laughs> he couldn't believe somebody would come to his house and do his laundry. Like he was just, uh, and that's what this truck is all about. And here is Rob once again in Island Park, already busy with so much more laundry that people have already dropped off. In fact, he's already been to areas, including here in Island Park, Pine Island, and so many other places across Southwest Florida. I want to mention the Castro family told me we need more people like Rob. And you'll see people really trying to take advantage of the kindness of people like Rob White. You see donations already dropped off here behind me. Uh, truly, this is going to be such a lengthy process, but there's hope that kindness like this creates somewhat of a domino effect that really is what becomes fuel for Southwest Florida to keep pushing forward. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.